Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix Fortnite not opening or Fortnite not launching in the Epic Games launcher. And let's start. So this is gonna be an easy and a quick tutorial and before we start I just want to say check out my tutorial on how to increase FPS and lower ping in Fortnite. And now we can start. So the first step is to search for epic games launcher in the search bar so just click on the search bar and type epic games launcher and there it is and now what you want to do is just right click on it click on open file location and now what you want to do is right click on the epic games launcher open the properties and this should open up and now what you want to do is first go to the, go to the, to the compatibility tab click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 so enable that and select w Windows Vista service pack 2 once you do that what you want to do is check the disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator so you want them to uh, to be checked and if you can then ch uh, if you can check it then check the reduced color mode if it's already checked as uh, as it is uh, uh, on my pc then just leave it as it is and now just click on apply once you do that what you want to do is go to the shortcut tab go to target Go to the end of the line and click on space and now type open GL. So O G L are capital letters. Open GL. Make sure that there's a space between them and click on apply. Click on continue and click on OK now what you want to do is just open fortnite and try to open fortnite if it doesn't open then uh, i've got a second fix and the second fix is to update your drivers what you want to do is click on the search bar type device manager and open it and now once it's open what you want to do is click on the arrow next to display adapters so click on it and what you want to do now is just update the drivers for your graphics card and you can do that by right clicking on your graphics card click on update driver click on search automatically for updated driver software and this should find if there's any new drivers for your graphics card and install them automatically if there aren't any then it will just say that there aren't and it will close down close that window once you update your drivers uh, I would recommend restarting the game and seeing if it works now if it still doesn't open then what you want to do is disable your antivirus so disable uh, Norton Mc McAfee uh, disable Windows Defender and once you do that, what you want to do is open the Epic Games Launcher and verify the game files. And I've seen this happen to many people. So once you open the Epic Games Launcher, just click on the settings icon and click on verify. I'm not gonna verify the game because it will take just too long for me and my game works, but you should verify it. And basically this will help you because some antiviruses stop uh, uh, or think that some Fortnite files are viruses and basically they just delete them and with this you will just reinstall the game and download all of the files that are missing after you verify the game try and see if it works if it still doesn't work then what you want to do is open this PC Open the disk where you have Fortnite installed at. So mine is at local disk C. 
go to program files go to epic games open fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and now what you want to do is click on easy anti-cheat once you do that what you want to do is click on easy anti-cheat setup.exe so double click on that and open it and once you do that what you want to do is click on repair service and it will uninstall and install very quickly and it says installed successfully and I would recommend restarting Fortnite and seeing, seeing if it works now. If it still doesn't work then what you want to do is go back just once to the Win64 folder and open the BattleEye folder now and double click on uninstall BattleEye and then double click on install BattleEye. This should take about 2 to 3 seconds. I'm not gonna do it because I may need to verify the game afterwards. Uh, you may also need to verify the game and after you finish this just restart fortnite and restart your pc and see if it works thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment